guys, I found Cloud9 Golden Glue, the Academy mid laner for Cloud9. I keep always getting confused because you're always at the LCS and I always just want to say like, you in today or you in today? <laughs> but uh, how you been doing? I've been doing well. Um, our Academy team were first place with like a couple, couple games in the lead, so we're pretty comfortably in first place. Um, we're going into playoffs, so I'm super excited that we can actually start using, you know, the six and seven man roster because um, it's kind of hard to use it during the regular season. So I'm, I'm doing pretty well. So six and seven man roster, you're talking about for the main team, like yeah. the main spring split, uh, rotating in not so much the academy playoffs because you know. Yeah, yeah, they, not really the academy coincide. playoffs. No, I don't think we're gonna. I mean, we might end up swapping around a little bit in the academy games if for example for practicing with wh whatever roster practices practices the most in academy will probably play mm -hmm. uh, but i imagine the, mainly the, the seven man roster is for the main team for the lcs playoffs got it so we saw blabber play yesterday yeah um pulled out the rex side oh blabber i love him so much i do love blabber too but so he subbed in so does that mean if you guys are preparing the seven man roster are we going to see you anytime soon um i think there's a there's a chance with reaper he kind of makes all the decisions around that so it's not really up to me obviously mm -hmm. i'm hoping that i'm playing next week mm -hmm. and like the weeks after um but right now like we're in the mode where, where you are preparing for playoffs so it could happen um but yeah it's not up to me i'm hoping so and yeah, Bobber came in yesterday. I was pretty happy he got the dub. Uh, he he played, he made some mistakes, but I think he played pretty well overall. Yeah. He had like the second most damage on the team as Rek'Sai, and that's kind of like one of his iconic champions, so I'm glad he could pull that out. Yeah, and he very much had like the blabber play style that everyone was hoping yeah. for, like the yeah. super aggressive, why yeah. is he flashing in there? Yeah. But still made it fun to watch and kind exactly. of added like a little spice and flavor. Uh, but okay, so then let's talk about you and him playing on Academy. So uh -huh. you guys are, Head in the standings, you said, what, you have a two-game lead? I think we have a two-game lead, I believe. Two-game yeah. lead on the other teams. Who's next up there for people who don't follow? I think 100 Thieves Academy and TSM Academy are tied, I believe. Um, and we have, I think, one-to-one -one, uh, tiebreaker against both, head-to-head -head against them. Head-to-head so, -head against them, okay. Um, yeah, I think there were, like, we're one week ahead of LCS, mm -hmm. so I think we have, like, we're in 10 and I honestly I'm not really sure. I don't there's, all there's I know is stuff, like we're first place. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but playoffs essentially is coming up for you guys yeah. pretty quick. Um, I mean, you guys are the current reigning Academy World Champions. We are. World Champions, I just want to put emphasis on that because nowhere else is there a team of this caliber. We're really looking to take the Academy MSI. Oh, Academy uh, yeah. MSI! Yeah, Academy MSI is Ooh. coming up. It's a big tournament for us. It's a big stage. Gosh, I if I had like a bajillion dollars, I would make that happen. I would just be like, here I'm you glad. go. I'm glad that's what you would do with a bajillion dollars. That's what I'm going to do with a bajillion priority. dollars. Screw world hunger. Screw world peace. Academy MSI. That's good. You got your priorities straight. Yeah, it's important. Uh, well, I mean, are you feeling confident? I mean, it sounds like you guys are toppling everyone else. Yeah, I mean, I think we feel pretty confident. We're meshing pretty well as a team. I feel like uh, the meta is pretty good for us right now. I think we're kind of ahead of it. Um, and... Like, I think our main team's also really good, so the fact that we get to, like, internally have those conversations about the meta and champions and, like, play styles is really helpful, and the fact that we're both really good just makes both of us better, so. So when you look at the LCS right now, maybe not so much as a player on uh, of Cloud9, but more as a, of, as a spectator, mm. what do you really see? What do you think about the play styles? What do you think about the teams? Um, Like, as in Cloud9 specifically, or just all? Let's well, just take a look at like the, the top three. Let's take uh -huh. a look at the top three because for LCS we're kind of in like this weird position when we have Team Liquid who, who is like reigning supreme. Uh -huh. We have Cloud9 who's like right underneath and uh -huh. like about to catch up to them, and then we have teams like TSM who are doing fairly well, and then we have like this <laughs> the graveyard. We have the yeah, graveyard. Oh my I'm, god! I'm trying to think of the nice Savage. Way to the graveyard. Awfully me. Well. Uh, <laughs> That's, that's essentially what it is. Yeah. I mean, we saw the Clutch Gaming 100 Thieves game yesterday where it's like yeah. both of them really need a win. Yeah, yeah. They're and desperate. Then they went 1 1 this weekend. Yeah. Um, so I think, yeah, the top of the leaderboard, I think, as you said, I think Cloud9 and Team Liquid are like pretty far above the other teams right now. Like we just played TSM and they look pretty good, mm -hmm. but they basically threw an almost unlosable game. And. I think that kind of speaks also to Cloud9, to us as a team. Like, that game was really not winnable. Like, we were really getting clapped. Um, we didn't really have many win conditions. Lane phases went, like, not so great for, I think, both solo lanes. Um, and we managed to pull the game back. We, like, really 
capitalize on their mistakes and won a basically unwinnable game. Um, and for sure, you can look at TSM and say, like, they made the error, right? They stumbled over themselves. But I do think it's a testament to us as a, uh, us as a team, Cloud9 as a team, that they could, like, be patient enough to wait for a big mistake like that and then just take the game instantly. Um, team Liquid is, is obviously really good. And for the rest of the teams, I think it's going to be a toss-up. Like, mm -hmm. Golden Guardians, they have, like, their moments of, like, they look really strong, and then they have their moments where they don't. Yeah. Um, TSM, same way. Like, sometimes, you know, Bjergsen, Sven's, like, just, like, popping off. Acadian's, like, really good at stealing Barons. But I definitely feel like those two teams are kind of above the other ones. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I don't know what I don't really know about the graveyard. I don't really pay much attention to that, but <laughs> yeah. Um, so then, do you think the teams, kind of as they are sitting in the standings right now, do those look like our playoff teams? You know, I think like the middle middle ground. I'm not so sure. Like after TSM, after like TLC nine, yeah. I think it's just like like a fiesta for who is going to be yeah. the, the next in contention. Mm -hmm. um, and really, I, I could see anyone taking it. I don't think there's like a solid third place right now, or fourth, or fifth, or sixth. I could see like all of those going up and down. Got it, got it. Uh, well, I know we do have another game that we can get back to, but before we go, I mean, I think this is the first time I've gotten to speak with you, like in an interview setting yeah. in a while. It's the first time a lot of people have gotten to see you outside of playing Academy. So is there anything that you want to say or update us on? Yeah, um, I mean, I guess I don't have too much to update. Just like, hey, I'm still here. I'm, play <laughs> I'm playing Academy. Uh, we're it's streamed on Cloud Nine's channel. Um, I'm doing pretty well. I'm pretty happy with like the team, how the team's meshing. Um, I'm excited to hopefully be back into the LCS soon uh, as as a seven man roster, or you know if everybody decides to use someone else or not me. You know I'm still gonna be grinding and practicing and getting ready to go back on stage. So yeah, thanks everybody for supporting me, supporting Avli. She's the best. Um, Woo! We do karaoke tonight or something. Oh, yeah. We go crazy. We go crazy. We really yeah. do. It's always nice catching up with you. Yeah. Give me hugs. Yeah. Oh.